Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor. Something to save us, close but we're strangers. Feel like we're far apart. Welcome back to my channel and to another cleaning video. Today I have quite a few jobs to get done. I need to clean out the fridge um, because we're going to do the food shopping. I also need to change the boys' bedding, clean under the couches and do a few random things that really need to be done. I might show you a recipe as well in this video. And first off, I wanted to show you that this morning I got ready, I ironed my t-shirt and then I started putting my makeup on and then this happened. I got foundation all over my t-shirt and this is like my double wear foundation that never comes off so first off i'm going to put this straight into the wash with some stain remover i'm going to put it in with some of the bedding and just hope that that gets it out i've only had this top for a couple of weeks and it's just so typical so i'm going to do that i'm going to put that in the wash and um yeah i'll just take you with me so i hope you really enjoy this video i hope it gives you loads of motivation and inspiration as well i've also got my hair up because i finally had my highlights done after a lockdown and about 20 weeks of not having my hair done so I'm nice and blonde again but I've thrown it up in a bun um, but anyway let's get into today's clean <laughs> Okay, so first off, as I mentioned, I'm going to change the boys' bedding and I actually washed the sheets on our bed just yesterday, so I only have theirs left to do this week and I don't tend to have a set routine or a set day when I wash all the bedding. I will literally look at the weather because I really like to air dry all the sheets. I feel like they smell nicer when we do that and it's actually so much quicker um, than using the tumble dryer and in our tumble dryer, our sheets can get really tangled up, so it's just easier to hang it on the line so today I saw the sun and I thought it was a good opportunity to wash all of their bedding whereas when I was young and I saw the sun all I would think about is um, sunbathing and tanning so how things have changed but anyway I'm just going to chuck all of that into the washing machine I'm also going to include the boys blankets they still sleep with their blankets um, and then also as I showed you earlier that white top that I think I may have ruined with my foundation. <laughs> Right, so it's now about 20 past 11 and we finished homeschooling for the day. We've been doing that up until this point. I really need to hang the washing out to dry, but the boys are currently in the paddling pool. I'll just show you. <laughs> Hello! 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 It's so bright. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <Woo! laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so while the boys are outside and entertaining each other, I'm going to try and clear out the fridge because my husband Matt has just gone to do the food shopping for the week. We've got in this sort of routine while we've been at home and in lockdown where on a Monday we will meal plan and we'll write a list of ingredients that we need and then on a Tuesday he goes and gets everything, brings it all back, like disinfects it, wash and like all of that. We haven't got into the online shopping because whenever we try to do that, they would limit um, our food shop at 80 items and we were finding it really difficult to just do the one shop a week with just 80 items when we're a family of five and we're all eating every single meal at home so Matt kind of took on the role of going to do the food shop every single week so I haven't been to the shops in so very long um, but yeah it's kind of like our new little routine um, so yes I'm going to quickly clear out the fridge and at least that will be a bit cleaner yeah, so this is our fridge here, so I'm just gonna sort it all out and give everything a good wipe down.
feel like I should chip in and say what I'm doing here. I'm just washing our fridge liners. We've had these for ages. I think we got them on Amazon, but you can get them in lots of places and they just sit on the shelves in your fridge. And the idea is if there's any spills or mess, you can easily just take out the fridge liner and wash it or wipe it down rather than trying to take out the big glass shelf. And it is a lot easier. I really like having them. I also noticed that the shelves on the door of the fridge are getting really disgusting. You can see that there. So I'm also going to soak this one and then wash the other ones as well. I'm also gonna vacuum out this bottom drawer because there are some big bits of food like from red onions and um, some salad as well. I always feel like this bottom drawer in our fridge gets far messier than any other part of the fridge. I don't know if that's because we keep our veggies down here um, or if there is a better way that I could be storing my veggies. I know some people just keep them out on the side in the UK, but this room is such a hot room. I just don't feel like I can do that. So I keep them down there, but it does get pretty messy but now that that's looking a lot cleaner um, I'm going to go ahead and wash these two other shelves but I need to be quick because Matt is already back with the food <laughs> Okay, so now it's time to unpack the shopping for this week. We've put all the stuff for the freezer into the freezer already, and we've got about two big bags of shopping, um, which is actually, I think, not too bad for a family of five who's eating everything at home, but we make a massive effort to really look at what we have in the freezer, in the fridge, and in the pantry before we meal plan, and then we really try to stick to that meal plan and not like go too much off of the list when we go to the shops. So this is everything for this week and tonight for the boys I'm making the homemade chicken nuggets that I showed in my fussy eater video and Matt and I are going to have lamb kofta wraps then one night we're going to have tuna steaks and then the boys they really love these posh fish fingers we also managed to get brown rice for the first time in over three months which I was so happy about we've also got lots of veggies we're still trying to eat um, meat free three to four nights a week so I'll be making our veggie chili got the boys favorite new thing the cinnamon rolls beans we needed I'm also making a gammon steak this week which is Caleb's absolute favorite um, got some tuna for the boys lunches oh yeah I wanted to show you that when I buy almond butter I always store it upside down before we open it so that the oil um, doesn't all go to the top I'm also quickly gonna wash some of our fruit that we've just got because if it's clean and ready in the fridge it's easier for the kids to reach for it for snacks rather than crisps so how I wash our grapes strawberries and blueberries is I put them into a big bowl of water and I leave it there for a good five minutes you can also add in a teaspoon of salt or bicarbonate of soda to give it a really good clean we've been buying organic as well to try and limit the amount of pesticides we're having and we've only recently started doing this because I watched a YouTube video about how to properly wash your strawberries and I had not been doing it like that at all and since I have been you see so much more dirt and little bugs come off of it as well but let me know 
what you think about this because I shared how I wash the strawberries on Instagram and I couldn't believe um, the amount of messages and like the response. It was crazy. People said I was scaremongering and all sorts. So let me know what you think. But anyway, once they've soaked for a good five minutes, I dry them a little bit on paper towel and then I stick them into a glass container with a bit more paper towel and I actually leave the lid off. You don't actually have to store strawberries um, or berries with a lid on, which I was surprised about, but we've been doing it for a couple of weeks and it works really well. Now I wanted to show you what I'm going to be having for lunch. This is the first time I've tried it, um, but I saw it online and I was like, that's such a good idea because I've been trying to to eat less gluten um, because some of you guys will know I had some tests that said I may have PCOS and you're not really supposed to have too much gluten if you do. So I saw someone make sweet potato toast. So you literally just cut a slice of sweet potato and put it into the toaster. This did take um, a bit longer than normal toast. I had to do it twice on quite a high um, toast level, but then you can top it with loads of different things. I'm doing it with cottage cheese today and I saw so many great ideas online of what you can do but this was honestly delicious I wish I had chives because I would have added that on as well but anyway I thought I would share that because it's quite a nice healthy lunch and yeah it was quite fulfilling as well um, but anyway now the boys are away from the paddling ball I'm gonna hang our sheets out to dry so I've got this retractable washing line. We've had it for ages and I really love it. I'll definitely be getting one in the new house. So I've just pulled the lines out and I'm going to hang up our sheets. I also thought I would show you what we're having for dinner tonight. I'm making a pie and it's actually like a vegan version, but you can also make it with chicken and it is so delicious like that. I've shown this before on my channel, but this is the Jamie Oliver 30 minute chicken and mushroom pie. So as you can see, it has lots of mushrooms in it. It also has um, a whole bunch of spring onion in it as well. And then you soften them and then add in a big tablespoon of flour and some cold almonds mustard. I actually double or triple what it says on the recipe because I really like the mustard taste. Then you add in some vegetable stock and also some thyme and a big scoop of creme fraiche. Um, but in replacement of the chicken, I just used the corn um, vegan pieces and it honestly tastes so good. And then the puff pastry is also randomly vegan as well. Um, so if you are, you could try this as well. I just buy the pre-rolled stuff stick it on top and then into the oven for 20 minutes and it comes out like this and it's delicious. We serve it with broccoli and Matt also always has roast potatoes with it and he loves like loads of gravy on it as well. But it's a really yummy dinner and the kids like it as well. But anyway, now that we've had dinner, I'm going to quickly tidy everything up, just sort out the um, like surfaces and like any toys or anything else that needs doing in this room. I'm <laughs> You may spot here on my wrist that I have some ink on it and that is because Jackson drew a J on my wrist today but I didn't want to discourage him practicing his letters um, but anyway I'm using flash with bleach on our sink and I also wanted to show you this hack with our dishwasher we group cutlery together when we put it into the dishwasher so that when you come to empty your dishwasher it's honestly so quick all the knives all the forks all the spoons they're together and it really does make it quick. It takes some getting used to, but once you start doing this and you get everyone in the house on board, it makes emptying really fast. Um, but as you can see, I'm just going to empty out our dishwasher now. Sometimes I put this on late at night and then first thing in the morning, I'll empty it. But today I did it straight after dinner because we're all home and it was very, very full. <laughs>
with the cloths that I use to clean and the tea towels as well, I just chuck them into the washing machine at the end of each day. We do laundry so often in this house that they really don't sit there for long. I do at least a load a day. Um, now that the surfaces are all clean, I'm going to put all the stools up. I probably don't need to do this, but I always feel like the floor is cleaner if I just stick them up really quickly, vacuum um, and everything with them up. Um, I'm going to do the same for the kids little like table and then clean up any toys that haven't been tidied up today we had so many toys out I'm also going to turn on our Robo Rock vacuum. I have worked with Robo Rock in the past, but I've gotten into the habit of turning it on every evening. When the boys go up for the bath, I turn it on and it can be vacuuming while I do other things like clean up all the towels from the paddling pool or, you know, all the bits that are still left out from homeschooling. Um, I'm also going to wipe down our table because, again, it has loads of fingerprints on it because we use it as a space to color on, do Lego on. Um, do homeschooling etc so the vacuum's still running around and because Matt is upstairs doing the bath with the boys tonight I'm going to do a job that I've been meaning to do for so very long you guys have probably seen these before we've had these artificial flowers for I think three years now and most of the time to clean them I will just use a microfiber cloth to dust them all off um, and I was trying that today on the inner flowers here um, but they are so very dusty I don't know if that's picking up on the camera but they really have got this like layer of dust so I tried just wiping them down and then also wiping them down with a damp cloth but they were still pretty messy so I'm actually going to wash each flower and I'm also going to wash the vase that they sit in because it was all just getting a little bit dirty as you can see I'm using my like sponge um, glove which I've been using for so many cleaning things around the house I'm also going to wipe down the vase with a glass cleaner just to make sure there are no water marks and then as I said I'm going to wash each flower individually and then leave it to dry um, and this made such a massive difference um, but then I also have to go up and quickly do the boys beds before they are finished in the bath because I haven't actually put the sheets back on yet I could put a different set on but I really like these ones that we have on at the moment so I'm going to also go and do that I was knocked down heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat yeah I was ruled out with no bail out on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. But I rose up from the ground, just like I was built bound. All the odds were against me. So I picked up the page, and now I'm in the race. Give me some space. I'm a movement, and I ain't losing. this slightly random clean today um, and that it gave you some inspiration and motivation thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys